Well, folks, are you having a good time? I wouldn't have missed this for anything. Good. Have a drink? No, thanks. Not just now. Tom, Mrs. Bray has the cutest little Pomeranian upstairs. Would you like to see it? I'm looking at Pomeranian. <laughs> well, Bessie, why don't you take your boyfriend and show him the house? How about upstairs? Well, it's okay with me. Find some cozy little corners. Mm -hmm. oh. We hope it's right. Ooh, that's a great idea. Come on, Joy. I'll show you the guest room. <laughs> Boy, I'm glad they left. I hope they stay a while. That's at its best under the circumstances. Syphilis is a relentless enemy, and only constant and courageous fighting will conquer. Now, this boy at home, do you love him? Oh, yes. Then you must be fair to him. Oh, there isn't anything I wouldn't do to prove myself to him. We grew up together. It's all so beautiful until until a dreadful thing happens. Miss Hamilton, your character doesn't indicate why you should be in this mess. What happened? Tell me everything. Well, I won a beauty contest at home, and I came to New York. I know you'll think me a little selfish, but I can't help feeling a little sorry that you won this contest. Oh, but darling, you know how I feel about it. Why, oh, I'm so happy. I'm so excited. Why, why, just think, going to New York. Oh, I'm pleased that you're happy. But, well, I'm afraid that if you go, it'll upset our plans. Oh, but darling, you wouldn't let that happen, would you? Oh, nothing could stop me from marrying you. You see, I, I love you. <laughs> and besides, I... I may come famous, and, well, then you could come on, and we could get married, and, well, let's live happily ever after. Oh, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, it's just the usual sort of a story, I suppose. After the contest was over, I, I thought of all the wonderful things a girl ever dreams about. Fame, and fortune, and luxury. Oh, but I found myself walking from office to office. I was broke. But pride would not let me return home. You see, I had written that I was successful. I could find parties, but, but no positions. And then, and then one day I, I met a theatrical manager. You know, a girl like you has to unbend a little. After all, you haven't had much experience. Oh, but I'm willing to do anything. Well, I'm ambitious. Oh, why don't you give me a chance? I'm offering you a chance right now. Here we're arranging a lovely weekend out in Long Island. You'll have a swell time and uh, make some good connections. Well, must there always be a social side to this business? <laughs> well, there must be if you expect to get anywhere. Oh, you won't have to do anything wrong. Just be nice and entertaining. Uh, stand up a moment, will you please? I, I want to see how you shape up. That's right. Now uh, walk a little towards the door, will you? Yeah, that's right. Now come back this way. Hmm. All right. Now raise him up a little. Oh, don't mind me. I, I just want to see if you're the right type. Come on. Oh, come on, bring him up. Ah, uh, bring him up a little higher. Up, up. Ah, uh, uh, that's it. Hey, you're going to be okay, honey. You know, uh, I kind of like you myself. All right, all right, have it your own way. Well, we cut out the risky stuff, see? Now, here's the address that you go to. Oh, thank you so much. There was nothing else to do. I just had to have a job. Oh, there were lots of people there, and 
Everything seemed very proper until... She dances divinely, doesn't she, senorita? Oh, lovely, senor. Oh, and how do you like my sonnet? <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it's much better than mine. See, I, I know such few words. Oh, but we must keep in the atmosphere. After all, this is a costume party, you know. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. The night. The music. And you, you to make the night divine. Oh, how I long for all this. A career to realize it. Love it. Oh, I'm dreaming. It's best to have all this. Oh, you could have all of this and more of all you would make up your mind to. Oh, oh but I, I want to make a name myself. Oh, I don't care how hard I'd have to work. It would be worth it. Work was never meant for such beautiful little hands as yours. Ah, oh, Senorita, you could have all of this and more. You could have wealth, luxury, beautiful clothes, servants. Oh, but I couldn't. You oh, don't mean... why don't you let me put your name at the top of the show world? You could have all of this if only you'd let me. Oh, I'd be so grateful. Oh, it's nice to have someone interested in you. Oh, oh but you will help me. My power to help you at all times. To help you in your ambition, to get this and more. Let us seal our friendship with wine, sparkling, bright, gorgeous, chanting. It rids the mind of worry. Fills the soul with hope. I, I suppose you're right. Uh, I never tried it. champagne and went to my head. And then it happened. I gave myself to him. And how long did you stay with this man? Several days, I'm not sure. Oh, it all seemed sort of a terrible dream. And then, then he left me. I was all alone. Finally, the horrible truth dawned upon me. I was afraid and pleased. I needed money for medical attention. I, I even planned suicide, but because I knew my plight would be known at home, I, I determined to go on. And you got the job? In the burlesque show. It was the only job offered. That's my whole story, Doctor. I've omitted nothing. And, and was this your only mistake? Oh, yes. Would to God that I hadn't. There, there, my child. I'll do all I can. Your case, if arrested at once, can be cured. But you must do your part. Now, uh, about this boy. Of course, it's impossible for you to marry him at present. To the hospital with me, and I'll show you why. Sorry to keep you waiting, but regulations require hospital clothes. Come with me. Now, this case is a young woman who neglected to take proper care of her affliction. Statistics prove that less than one half of syphilis cases seek treatment or are recognized within the first year of the disease. Here we see the insidious effect of syphilis upon one dainty fingers, hands that rock the cradle, now pleading for humanity's help. For a plague it is that attacks every nerve center, every organ, and every muscle of the human body. 
those in the autumn of their lives left to brood over the folly of ignorance and neglect. In full of adult until I paint my clothes. Now, I've shown you the worst side, Miss Hunt, but there's also a hope. I want you to let me treat you daily for a short time, say one month, here in the hospital. And then when I'm convinced you're progressing, you may leave and go home. You may not be free to marry. Mary, not yet. But if you continue to take the treatment faithfully from a competent physician at home, in time, you'll be cured. Oh, but, doctor, then everyone would know. Then go to a nearby city. There are very many fine doctors. And you could visit him at least once a week. But I must advise you against quack. Unscrupulous doctors who promise you complete health and only prolong your case. They exact heavy fees. And all your good work thus far will be lost. In any event, you are not to marry until you're definitely cured. I know it sounds harsh, but we're dealing with a ruthless foe. I understand, Doctor. And I'll do everything you say. That's fine. Now write home that you'll be detained just a little longer. Keep your courage and it'll turn out well. Mr. Hampton, I don't believe people should be ignorant of sex. On the contrary, I believe that the horrible facts concerning the ravages of social diseases were frightening, rather than encourage promiscuous relations. Then, on the other hand, if we teach them the beauty of a healthful, normal marriage, the spiritual satisfaction, of rearing children, we shall have accomplished our aim. And our younger men and women will soon find themselves fit for the glorious state of God-given matrimony. I believe you are right, Mr. Lorenz. The prudish eroding of the facts of life are fast undermining our national health. The latest official statistics prove that one out of every ten are afflicted with a social disease. Unless this is checked through education and drastic treatment, humanity is bound to return to the dark ages of despair. Do you feel equal to the trip? Oh, Doctor, I'm, I'm so grateful and... Oh, so happy. There, now, remember, we're not out of it all yet. Now, Millicent, you're leaving for a new life, new thoughts, new ideals. Fight hard. Follow my instructions, and let me hear from you if you need help. I think you'd better hurry. You don't want to miss your train, do you? Well, goodbye, Doctor. And thank you for everything you've done. Goodbye, Millicent. She look pretty, Ma. Oh, my. And she's glad to be home. <laughs> oh, my face. Oh, my face. Oh, 
Oh, Mother, be careful. 